Yes. All right. So what I want to talk about today is, of course, Bitcoin infrastructure. And I say, of course, because really that's all the rage right now. Everything is pointing towards Bitcoin. Like all roads lead to Bitcoin. Guys, dive into the channel if you want more content. Go through the playlists and see what you can find. See what tickles your imagination, your interest. Okay, so let's look at the metrics right now. As we see, we're still bullish on the markets. And of course, look at this. The excitement is there. Last time we took a look, maybe it was around 95. We're still getting super, super excited. And I can't even say it's for, I, I got to say it's for, for, for good reason, okay? And as you can kind of look over here, we have kind of pushed more into, more into an alt season, more. We're getting there more convincingly as we consolidate, as we see up here. So I'm personally looking forward to some more upside, generally speaking, in the markets, even if we do take a major dip in Bitcoin. So whether we head over here and quickly look at the Bitcoin chart on the weekly, you can see that close, that candle for this week. We'll see where it closes, but it could possibly close at the, you know, the highest closing weekly candle for Bitcoin in history. Just take a look back at the, the uh, previous high of 2021 in November. We can clearly see we're almost at that point for a close. As a matter of fact, we may be closing above there. So we'll just see, right? So Bitcoin right now, of course, we're looking at, um, <clears throat> you know, still bullish movements. In Bitcoin, we have a lot of inflows from ETFs. But let's dive into a little bit more and, and look at essentially what is driving the future of Bitcoin. Of course, guys, hit, over, hit me up over here on X. Let's continue. So first things first, got to talk about Atomicals. Because Atomicals may be, in fact, the first platform that's going to have Bitcoin smart contracts on Bitcoin, on the layer. So let's call Bitcoin the layer zero. We're going to have potentially, based on what, they, what I see, what I read, and what I hear, Bitcoin smart contracts. There's so much going on with Atomicals. So definitely check that out. Check out Wiz, the Wiz wallet as well, Wiz.cash as well. Let's move on to BitSmiley. Just dealing with stable coins for Bitcoin. So we're not going to get into everything, but absolutely, it is a super cool product of <laughs> protocol. Um, as you can hear, there's some music going on. So let's drop that down for a bit. But yeah, it's it's super cool to me what they're building over here. I would not sleep on this. I would absolutely not fade it in any way. Uh, and, and for those of you who got this, uh, the BitSmiley OG uh, black disc, goodness, you know, good on you. Let's move on a little bit and let's go over to Merlin Chain. Of course, we've been talking about the Bitcoin layer. Let's call it a layer one, okay? As we call Bitcoin a layer zero, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we can get into the idea of people saying Bitcoin is a layer one and all of these different chains building on top are layer two or building beside our layer twos. But if we really want to talk about it, let's talk about it as Bitcoin is layer zero and things like Merlin Chain is layer one. But as you see, you could bridge assets. We've talked about this in previous videos. So if you guys want to join and you want to get your promo code, uh, sorry, pardon me, not your promo code, pardon me, your invite code, because that's how essentially you can join a team. You can check those that information out in, a last, in the last couple of videos, at least the last few videos. And you can, of course, join the Discord to get some of that information as well if you guys want, right? So Merlin Chain is going to be huge. You can bridge directly to Merlin Chain. And what you can do is, of course, you can swap our Merlin swap and you can start, in, you know, start experimenting um, with essentially whatever is on Merlin chain right now, whether it's B BRC20 swaps uh, and, um, you know, so much more. I don't want to dive into what, the, what they're doing over there, but there's a ton of, a ton of stuff going on. As you see, $3.5 billion has been locked in this Merlin seal, which should be open Sometime in the coming month, essentially, pretty much, let's just say four to five weeks from now, we should be able to be um, live on Merlin Chain with everything, with all of our assets that are tradable. It's going to be a f very fun fun time. So BRC420, of course, uh, I don't want to leave that out. Uh, BRC420, so there's a lot going on. Of course, we have you know the BRC20 tokens, the ordinal standard, but then uh, protocol, but then we have BRC420s that also do allow for more of a metaverse integration, also royalties, things like that. Uh, definitely don't don't sleep on Merlin Chain, don't sleep on um, bitmap.tech, don't sleep on BRC420, don't sleep on Recursiverse, things like that. So much going on with the Merlin Chain, or more specifically, Perhaps even more generally, generally, let's go over here, uh, the bitmap.tech. So <clears throat> there's a lot going on here. I, I would recommend you guys come through here to understand a little bit more about what's happening with Merlin Chain. But also, again, right here, as you see right here, uh, bitmap.tech. Tons going on over there. Let's move over to Portal super quickly, guys. Portal, look, 
Imagine being able to swap your Bitcoin for Ethereum. Just directly, no wrapping, no type of synthetics, no custodial solution, nothing like that. Simply swap one for the next. This is a true portal. And I believe when this DEX comes and is live, this is going to be one of the biggest infrastructure plays for Bitcoin. We're talking about minimizing trust, maybe even just eliminating trust. Nothing of that nature. You simply dive in and you make your swaps as you wish. Uh, I'm looking forward to Portal in a major way, so do keep your eyes on that. Let's keep it moving, though. Polyhedra, more infrastructure. Look at this. Web3 interoperability. Zero knowledge proofs working with Bitcoin in this, in this sector, as you see the B right there. Too much going on, guys. ZK bridging. I'm going to leave it simply there. Scalability, of course, but Polyhedra, as it says, implements infrastructures for Web3 interoperability. It's super, super cool, man. Um, look at the ecosystems, of course. Anything that's EVM is going to be on this list. But as long as you're bridging, you're bringing e uh, Bitcoin to EVM, my gosh, the, the sky's the limit, if I could say it like that, right? So do check out Polyhedra. Probably, likely one of the biggest plays coming this cycle. As we continue on, decentralized applications secured by Bitcoin. Build with EVM compatible smart contracts as a Bitcoin powered blockchain. Again, this is core DAO. So much stuff going on, guys. A lot of these I'm showing you right now do have some type of airdrop. So I'm not saying you should do it. I'm not saying you need to do it. I'm saying, hey, consider doing it. And, and why not give that a follow as well? Just, just, just to keep up to date. So much going on. So again, we're looking at EVM. We're looking at Bitcoin. We're looking at interoperability, all of this type of stuff watch this type of play okay let's continue on there's more i kid you not there's more right and we're going to do this really quickly look at bit layer okay the first bitcoin security equivalent layer based on bit vm of course another thing bit vm check out bit vm um, i'm looking at this guys what the future of layer twos uh could be and of course those layer twos we could be talking about layer ones essentially but there's a lot going on here so many things going on in the Bitcoin ecosystem, so many ways that we're going to be essentially bringing Bitcoin to the masses in a, in a way that in some ways can be more enjoyable, more fun. You can express yourselves more with the BRC20s and the, and the, the um, BRC420s as well by Bitmap Tech, like I just mentioned. So again, check out BitLayer, dive in, check out the story and do your own research on a lot of this. Let's continue on. There's even more guys, Telegram bots. Look at this. This thing's called BTC bot, right? For trading in a, in a Telegram bot with Telegram bots. So you know, we know that that has been pretty huge for the Ethereum ecosystem and things of that nature. I'm saying, when I say Ethereum, I just mean kind of the EVM wallets, uh, supported chains and such. But well, yeah, this is essentially coming to Bitcoin as well. So do your research with, at the medium, of course, you can always do this like I do, and I'll follow them and I'll keep up to date, see what they're doing and see if I can be ahead. And guys, I'll be dropping some words in the Discord on this and others in the future. Maybe some of them can be opportunities for white, for whitelisting airdrops. Who knows, right? But do check out check me out in the Discord and get verified so we can win together. Let's continue on. B, B Squared Network also claiming or saying you know, Bitcoin layer two, in this case, let's say a Bitcoin layer one. We just, we've been speaking about the Buzz program, the Odyssey program. So again, I don't want to say it again, but do check us out in the Discord because that's where we, we, we've been talking about a lot of that stuff. But build, build the most practical Bitcoin layer two network. Bring builder culture back to Bitcoin ecosystem. I mean, I, could, I, I can honestly say Ordinal's definitely, I don't want to say brought back the Bitcoin uh, builders, builders culture, but definitely... BRC20s, ordinals more specifically, uh, brought much uh, builder culture to Bitcoin over the past, oh my gosh, uh, 15 months. I can't even believe we're saying it, guys, right? But here we go. Layer 2 Bitcoin roll-up. Look, it's layer, layer 1 Bitcoin, ZK roll-up. So we're looking at zero knowledge again in the Bitcoin space. They said it wasn't possible. They said Bitcoin can't do NFTs. They said it can't do smart contracts. And they said it can't do layers and this and that. Well, we're seeing it all unfold before our eyes, guys. Don't get hypnotized. Let's continue moving on. Rootstock. What is Rootstock? EVM compatible smart contract platforms designed for freer, fairer, and more decentralized world. Look at this. Come on. Again, to get more Bitcoin. More layers, more Bitcoin, more infrastructure. Again, interoperable, fast transactions, more scalability, EVM compatible smart contracts. Again, 
more Bitcoin stuff interoperable with Ethereum. So of course you can use your your uh, OKX wallet, for example, uh, most likely be able to use MetaMask and, and things like that. I look, I'm impressed by just just skimming through this information. I'm so impressed. Again, it goes against so much of what was commonly believed for Bitcoin and what Bitcoin could do. No, the truth is, guys, there's so much upside potential in all of these projects. And the liquidity that Bitcoin brings is so ridiculously deep. We're going to see so a flood of Bitcoin moving from cold storage, from exchanges onto these various layers to start interacting with their dApps, right? Let's keep going. BEVM, okay, maybe BVM. 10% of Bitcoin into layer two. That's hilarious. BVM is the first fully decentralized EVM compatible Bitcoin layer two that uses BTC as gas. I don't know if that's true, as in if it's the first. I have no idea because I just showed you so many that are doing this type of thing, but who, you know, do your own research, guys. Um, it allows all dApps which can run in the Ethereum ecosystem to operate on Bitcoin layer two. So you can bridge, bridge to BVM as you see right here. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Do your own research, but definitely do not sleep on this cross-chain interaction layer, as they call it. Uh, consensus layer. Let's keep, keep going. VM and DAP layer. Man, oh man. Look, BEVM uh, -E or BVM aims to break through two significant challenges. How to achieve decentralization, a decentralized BTC layer two, or maybe layer one, and how to be compatible with EVM and its peripheral ecosystems using BTC as gas. We've already been doing that with the likes of Merlin Chain and such. So definitely, I don't, I wouldn't fade this. I wouldn't doubt this in any way. Okay, let's continue on. Lumibit. Now look at this. A Bitcoin layer two solution based on zero knowledge rollup. The, the list keeps going. I'm not, I can't, I can't make this stuff up, guys. Lumi points are now live. So what do you think? If you guys want some type of drops or something, as you see right here, points earned by holding the dollar, the L bit BRC20 inscriptions based on daily snapshots. Okay, so that might be a little late for some of us who don't have this particular token. But we'll go to Unisat and check. And of course, it is probably 100% minted out. Let's see the holders. We have 450 holders with the main wallet perhaps being the team. We're not entirely sure, but that is to me, to my uh, opinion, this is pretty big. You can explore the test net as you see right here. So get your points, maybe join the test net, maybe get some rewards, most likely win on another layer of Bitcoin that's just making interoperability uh, a reality for EVM and BTC, uh, Bitcoin native products. So let's see. Let's continue on though. Uh, particle network. So abstra abstraction, account abstraction, we mentioned it quickly last video, but this is a play that's pretty big because it just allows for so much that you can do within these, within these wallets and uh, smart contracts, so much that you can do. I think it's amazing. As a matter of fact, Merlin Chain definitely utilizes this with their particle smart account, which would appear at the bottom right, like I mentioned in one of my recent videos. If you do connect a wallet, let's say an OKX or let's say a Unisat wallet, you will get some type of um, smart account that pops up here and that is powered by what this particle uh, network so just check it out i think it's a look at this right here like embedded wallets plug into authority uh btc connect connect as you see watch you'll see embedded wallets like that stuff like that just a, a wallet embedded into the into your browser let's say in that case or into the into the app and it's an EVM wallet that somehow is associated with your Bitcoin wallet. So it's it's so cool. Uh, let's continue on, though. Rolux. Level up your network. As it says, Rolux enables near instant transfers, con contract deployment, and much more. Okay. And guess what? It's secured by Bitcoin. So <laughs> more infrastructure going on for Bitcoin. More layers on Bitcoin that are allowing you to bring your Bitcoin bringing liquidity all across the blockchains. Of course, EVM roll up. Why Bitcoin? Bitcoin's proof of work security in the in, is the industry's gold standard. Rolux is built on this very security to bring Ethereum compatible smart contracts scaling to Bitcoin. Scaling with Ethereum smart contracts and Bitcoin can't make it up. Even more, Bitcoin's only modular data availability network <laughs> it's the only execution layer, apparently, as they say. Oh, my goodness. A Bitcoin-powered ecosystem securing rollups with unmatched data availability and scaling. So when we talk about DA, and now we're also talking about DA within 
Bitcoin. So proof of DA, proof of data availability secured by Bitcoin. I don't know what to say. Guys, Bitcoin's virtual machine, Bitcoin's superpowers, the SIS is, look, I'm not going to get into the detail into the details of their token, but my gosh, the, the way in which we're using Bitcoin to reach new heights and to, um, to essentially to integrate new technology and to make it simple to take your, I don't know, your Bitcoins that are just lost in some type of drive or some type of folder, you can actually now use them as when I say folder. So I mean a, a drive or an account or some exchange or something like that. Ideally, you've got on, on at least a cold storage or something like that, but people are going to be taking it out their BTC, that is, and again, swapping in their EVM wallets and, and even more. Let's continue on. And last but not least, of course, something like Unisat. We've got to give it up to Unisat because they've built so much. They've got the BRC uh, swap. You know, we don't want to forget something like Alex Lab as well, doing stuff, you know, bringing uh, swaps to, to BRC20s and stuff. But definitely something like Unisat, something like Alex Lab, just contributing so much to the ecosystem and allowing you to use your assets in different ways. Like I mentioned already with things like BRC420 as well by bitmap.tech. So guys, again, check me out of here, of course, on the main channel, as you guys know. And why not hit me over here, follow, and we'll chat, join the join the spaces and learn more about what we're doing with the Atom Monocles, as well as Mega Blends, and of course, so much more. So, all right, guys, thank you for checking this one out. Until next time, take it easy.